Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the connector software and the 3ds Match material library to quickly assign materials to the objects in your scene. We're going to start by opening the connector application. On the folder section, press the plus button to add the folder with your material libraries. To preview the materials, the connector software is going to open a dedicated 3ds Match instance. If you have multiple 3ds Match versions installed and you receive a notification that the material library is not supported, you can select the correct version of the 3ds Match instance in the integration menu, dedicated 3ds Match. In the new window, select Auto Setup and then select the 3ds Match version you want to run by default. I recommend selecting the latest version. Showing the materials in the preview panel can take from a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on how long the 3ds Match instance takes to load and the number of materials. Once the materials have been loaded, we can drag and drop one of the materials to the 3ds Match viewport. This is going to open a new menu with multiple options. If we have an object selected, like in this example, we can use Assign Material to Selection to assign it to the selected objects. We also have an option to assign this material to the target object instead of the selected one. If the object has a multi-material applied to it, we can select the Choose Material to Replace option to select the material we want to replace. We can also use one of the four available options to load the materials into the material editor. I don't recommend using the first option unless you're using the compact material. For the slate material editor, we can load the material to the currently selected view or also to a new view. We can then assign it to our objects from the material editor. It is also possible to select more than one material. We can drag and drop all these materials to the 3ds Match view and select one of the previously mentioned options to load all the selected materials into our material editor. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.